biblical prophecies or whatever. So there's a sense that we need to prepare. And of course, we always need to be prepared. Nobody has done this better than the Mormons historically. They have always collectively come together with food storage and other things to prepare for what they perceive might be emergencies. But now it's taken on a new sense of urgency. Interestingly enough, we have set up at this time a, a new uh, product line at InfoWars Life Select. Uh, we have storable food that we're doing in conjunction with Patriot Pantry. Again, this is excellent packaging that you'll find it's, it's exclusive slimline totes that you can use for space saving storage they all the packages have built-in ziploc bags so nothing goes to waste it's a very very high quality mylar container the container is very important uh, because this food can last up to 25 years with a shelf life and this is without msg or any kind of autolyzed yeast extract these are all u.s ingredients this package in the u.s it's grown in the u.s uh, is made in USA, and we sell it here at InfoWars uh, Life Select. Uh, you can get a two-week food supply for just under $80, a four-week food supply for $156. There are great prices there. This is all part of the introductory pricing. So it's a good time to get this. It's always good to be prepared. You can never be overprepared. And this is something that can last you for a very long time. One last thing I'll tell you about this. These are balance kits they have breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, and snacks. If you get a three-month supply or greater, you get the most variety. Again, that's InfoWars Life. Select those are Patriot Pantry storable foods that you can find at InfoWarsLife.com. Now, let's get to the horse race aspect of the presidential race. Uh, of course, we're going to have the debate this Wednesday. At the same time we kick off the InfoWars uh, money bomb, we're going to be covering that debate and commenting on what happens with it live. We're going to be doing, uh, I think it's 27 hours, uh, live broadcast marathon uh, beginning on Wednesday at 11 o'clock and going through the next day. And uh, right in the middle of that, we're going to have the next presidential debate that's going to be carried at CNN. And of course, Rick Perry did not make the debate. He dropped out on Friday. Here's a clip of Rick Perry as he dropped out, what he had to say. I would rather one state get it wrong than the entire country. And that's our point with the Tenth Amendment. Today, Washington has discarded that Tenth Amendment. It's been centralizing government for generations now, failing to meet the test of leadership. It is time for us to elevate this debate from divisive name calling, from sound bites without solutions, and start discussing how we will make the country better for all if a conservative is elected president. Today, I submit to you, his will remains a mystery. <laughs> but some things have come and become very clear to me. That is why today I am suspending my campaign for the presidency of the United States. So there you go. As I guess he would say, you won't have Ronald Raven to kick around anymore. Seriously, though, the discussion that he had there at the beginning of that about the 10th Amendment, that was very valuable. I wish we had those kinds of discussions on the debates. You won't hear those kinds of questions most likely asked. Instead, it will be, how many jobs are you going to create? Do you, do you realize how idiotic most of the presumptions that the mainstream media has? Of course, we're all going to be safe and secure. We're going to achieve peace through having multiplied wars. Right? We're going to create war everywhere so that we can all be more secure. We're going to give unlimited access to a secretive closed police state so we can all be more secure. And, of course, we're going to give all power to Washington. That's one of the messages that Rick Perry had out. I wish he had gotten traction for that message. That was an important message. But we And we hope that uh, the CNN debate will not be along the lines of the uh, of the uh, Kelly debate uh, going back and forth of personal attacks on people uh, that we saw with Donald Trump. Hopefully there'll be something that is of substance and not just a celebrity big brother, because that's what this is really boiled down to. This is really about a reality TV show. This is the way that Fox News has done it. And I don't expect anything any different from CNN. I expect to hear the same tired litany of issues repeated over and over and over again in all these debates and they don't have anything new to say and there's going to be a lot of issues issues that are that would affect limiting the power of central government you're not going to hear those talked about 
You didn't hear the Tenth Amendment talked about, as, as Rick Perry pointed out. Here's what Donald Trump has to say about Rick Perry leaving. Mr. Perry, Governor Perry, he's gone. Good luck. Oh, he was very nasty to me, but, you know, yesterday I put out a tweet. <laughs> I said he's a wonderful man and I wish him well. Couldn't, people couldn't believe. But, you know, when you win, everybody's wonderful, right? And I think he's one. I think he's actually a nice guy. But he dropped out. So we have a total of 16 people. People don't have energy. I don't think Ben has the energy. Ben is a nice man. But when you're negotiating against China and you're negotiating against these Japanese guys that are going to come at you in waves and they think we're all a bunch of jerks because our leaders are so stupid and so incompetent and so inept, we need people that are really really smart and competent and can get things done. We need people. Where would they, let's leave it right there. We Where need, would they ever get the idea that we've got leaders that are incompetent and stupid? <laughs> well, I mean, this is not a contest. We see them demanding loyalty oaths from Donald Trump in the first debate. I would like to see some loyalty oaths to the Constitution. How about that? How about a gotcha question on the Constitution? Can they name one amendment and what it's about? And they don't exclude the First and Second Amendment. Can you name one other amendment that uh, is in the Bill of Rights and explain what's in it? You don't even have to quote it. Just name one other one. I mean, that would be what I would ask them. But of course, we're not even going to get to that level. We're not even to the level of a junior high school civics class here. This is talking about people's energy. Yeah, he was very mean to me. He was very, uh, you know, he's, he's somebody I'm glad to see him go. Well, here's where the latest horse race is at this moment. We've got, as I mentioned earlier in the program, Hillary Clinton, fortunately, is dropping on the Democrat side. Uh, Bernie Sanders, I'm not any big fan of Bernie's, but I'm glad to see Hillary uh you know, she needs to be going to prison as we have the uh, InfoWars t-shirt that says uh, Hillary for prison in 2016. That's precisely where she needs to be, not in the White House, but in the big house. Uh, she is down by 20 points in New Hampshire to Bernie Sanders. She's down by 10 points in Iowa to Bernie Sanders. And the thing to me that is amazing is that with all of these issues, with all this arrogance, is that she still has 30% support in those two areas. That is pretty amazing to me. Of course, there's not that many people running on the Democrat side. On the Republican side, it truly is like Celebrity Big Brother. My, my wife didn't know what that program was, and I've never watched it. We've never watched this, these uh, Big Brother programs. I had explained to her that, you know, one guy leaves every week or something like that, you know, and they, and they put that out. I think it was a deliberate predictive programming by the BBC to get people accustomed to the idea that, hey, I, I could be a celebrity if I get into this kind of voyeuristic social media and I put my life out there on social media. And of course, that is what uh, we've been living with for the last couple of decades is a kind of, I want to be a big brother celebrity. And who better to do this than a TV personality like Donald Trump? And of course, he's leading in the polls. We'll be talking about that more this week. Stay with us and we'll have debate coverage this Wednesday as part of our InfoWars Money Bomb beginning on Wednesday.